Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and these are my bookish goals for 2021. <laughs> Now, I've never actually made a goals video before in the almost four years that I've been on booktube, but I have decided to make a list of goals this year, and so I'm very excited to share those goals with you now. These goals are booktube and book related, so I decided to just mix them up in this video and call them bookish related goals. Let's get into the goals that I have. So this year, I set my Goodreads goal for two 100 books. So far I've read I believe 22 or 23 books and I'm already a bunch of books ahead of schedule or so Goodreads is telling me so I feel like I could possibly hit that goal. Then again I'm still in college so I don't really know how the course load is going to affect my reading. Um, it was quite different the past two semesters because of COVID and I got to stay at home. I don't really know how that's going to affect how much I read but for now I am ahead of schedule and hopefully I will read 200 books. Last year I ended up reading over 200 books so I'm planning on hopefully completing that goal. My next goal is to utilize Kindle Unlimited more. Kindle Unlimited is a subscription service that you can have through Amazon where you can check out 10 books at a time on this online ebook service that is connected to Amazon and I need to utilize it more. I canceled it for a little bit and then I redownloaded it or resubscribed like a month later because I wanted to read certain books so badly and I feel like I don't feel like I could ever get rid of Kindle Unlimited because it has just has so many of my favorite authors on there that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. I just I, I can't not have it <laughs> and so I need to justify me having it by reading more books that are on Kindle Unlimited. So Kindle Unlimited is $10 a month I'm pretty sure and so I need to read about three to four books a month to get my money's worth essentially and I definitely was not doing that in 2020. There were months where I did not read a single Kindle Unlimited book and so I was basically putting money down the drain. Ten dollars I know isn't a lot but it's still money and I am a college student so every penny counts so I really want to make my money going towards Kindle Unlimited to count. I already have a bunch of books <laughs> on my February TBR that are Kindle Unlimited so I will hopefully be getting through a bunch of those. I love Kindle Unlimited. It is full of so many great romances. I just need to utilize that service more. <laughs> my next goal, which I feel like will be on a bunch of other people's goals lists, is to get my physical TBR shelf down. If you don't know, all these books behind me, I have already read. That's in the shot of all my videos. I have already read those. I'm gonna turn you <laughs> to where that cart over there, it goes up higher, it's up one more shelf and there's books on top of that shelf and then there's books under the shelf. <laughs> those are all books I haven't read yet and they're double and triple stacked. And also those don't include all of the books that are in boxes under my bed. So <laughs> I have a lot of books, but those are the books in my TBR that I want to get to more than the books that are under my bed currently. The uh, 10 boxes that are under my bed currently. <laughs> um, granted, I have read some of those, so. Anyway, we're not gonna talk about those books. We're talking about those books over there. I bought those books. I was gifted those books. I was sent those books for a review and I haven't read them. I barely read any physical books in the year 2020 and I feel so sad about it. Audiobooks are my pride and joy. I, that is where I read books mostly is going to listen to the audio. And so I need to really dedicate time to finding audios for the books on that shelf and I've already made a whole entire library list on my Libby because you can make lists on your Libby by the way if you didn't know and I have a whole list of books that are on my physical TBR that I want to listen to it's just I am a huge mood reader and sometimes the books that are there just don't float my boat I need to go to Kindle Unlimited or to Libby and just read different things and so I really want to utilize my physical TBR because I put money into those I paid for those so I need to read them. Another goal of mine that fits into that is to physically read a book more this this year because I, I did not do that last year. Again, mainly ebooks and mainly audiobooks. <laughs> most most of them were audiobooks. Um, I want to get back into reading at least one one a month because there have been so many months that I did not read any book physically like with my eyeballs a book in my hand it was either audio or it was on my phone or my iPad so I want to actually read a book with my physical hands like how, hold the book in my hands and read it because that has not happened in a very long time 
<laughs> and I need to. I miss that feeling. It's just sometimes I get like bored, if that makes sense. Um, I have a very scattered brain, and so when I am bored with something, I don't want to do it anymore. And so uh, the reason why I love audiobooks so much is because you can listen and do other things and I cannot be bored because I can flip through so many different things and do so many different things while listening to my book. That's why I only read ebooks out in public because I'm looking for something to do, something to stimulate me while I'm waiting for something or out in public and doing other things. Um, I cannot read an ebook in my bed before bed. I will fall asleep. I do the same thing whenever I read a physical book. So I don't know how to fit in a physical book into reading like in my day-to-day -day life without tr falling asleep. That's the main issue is because I am a very fatigued, tired person. It comes from a chronic illness. I am tired literally all the time, no matter how much I sleep, no matter how little I sleep, I am a very fatigued person. And so anytime I lay down or sit somewhere with a book, I want to fall asleep. <laughs> Anybody else have that issue? Yeah. Okay, another goal that I have that isn't really a goal, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain, but basically I have set a um, standard for myself with buying books. So I'm not limiting myself to going to bookstores and buying books when I need to or I want to, to fill that little joy in my heart because shopping for books and getting books brings me so much joy. Other people go buy clothes or go out party and go out and hang out with friends. Number one, I don't have any friends here. So the way that I have my personal time and how I have fun is by going to bookstores and looking at books. And so I'm not going to make myself not do that because that's how I make myself happy. But I know that I do not have the means and funds to go book shopping all of the time. That's why I only go every once in a while. I don't go to the bookstore as often as I used to, and obviously COVID has changed everything. I can book, buy a book whenever I want, whatever. I'm, I'm being very cautious with my money though, and I'm not going willy-nilly and buying anything. I'm buying books that I legitimately want. Like for example, I know I'm going to the bookstore whenever A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas comes out. Like I'm going to buy it. I'm not gonna make myself not go buy that. So the standard that I've set for myself is that I have the last day of every month, I am letting myself buy whatever book I want online whatever book I want and I'm making them be books that I have already read to add to my collection. An example of this was at the end of January. It's still January but I already bought my book for January so I let myself buy one of my favorite books from 2020 which was The King's Spinster Ride by Ruby Dixon. It was very cheap. It was six dollars on Amazon and it's a short novella and I really wanted it for my collection because it's one of my favorites. So I'm letting myself buy an all-time favorite every month for myself to make myself happy. <laughs> and hopefully that will help me not go out and spend a bunch of money at bookstores all at once because then I'll have this little little spark of hope at the end of the month for me. Just wait, you have that one book you can buy, you can wait. And so I feel like this will be a great goal for myself personally, or it's not really a goal, but it's something I'm looking forward to doing. <laughs> okay, another goal of mine is to read all of the previous advanced reader copies that I've received throughout the years, which is not a lot, but I wanna get them down. Um, I used to be on NetGalley. I've tried dipping my toe back into NetGalley for a little bit here and there, only if I really, really want a book, and most of the time I am denied because I don't have a good score in NetGalley, um, and I just I haven't reviewed a lot of books on NetGalley. Um, but I still have two or three on NetGalley that I have not read yet, not reviewed yet, and they were gifted or accepted for me to review over three years ago. <laughs> I wanna finish those. And also a bunch of authors have reached out to me throughout the years through Instagram, through TikTok, through YouTube in general, through email, and have sent me their arcs to review. And I have told a bunch of them straight up, I am a very big mood reader and I might not get to it. Are you okay with that? A bunch of them are like, yeah, no, that's fine. But I feel bad still not having read them. So I am making a goal for myself to read all of the arcs that I've already like received this year. Hopefully that will happen. Okay, my next goal is to read um, a bunch of backlist books of my favorite authors. I'm specifically this year focusing on four authors. Of course, one of them is Ruby Dixon. Like I just talked about, I love Ruby Dixon so much. And hopefully I wanted to do this in 2020. I never got around to it was to make a guide to Ruby Dixon video because I want to make that so badly. So I need to finish her backlist. I still have two major series to read from her. 
Um, and so hopefully I will finish all of her backlist by the end of 2021. Next is Talia Hibbert. I adore Talia Hibbert so much. Also, I just wanna point out the four authors on this list, each one of them writes a different subgenre of romance. So Ruby Dixon was sci-fi, Talia Hibbert is contemporary, and the next two are fantasy romance and then historical romance. So all four are different. So this attests to uh, how wide my tastes are when it comes to romance, but I absolutely adore Tally Hebert and I love her writing and I've read a couple, maybe two of her backlists and I really want to get more into them and I just, I adore her and so I want to read all of her books this year. Hopefully that will happen. And then we have Grace Draven, fantasy romance author and I adore her books so stinking much. Fantasy, like, I love them so much. This is my favorite romance book of all time and so I want to read all of her books. Hopefully I will make a guide to a Grace Draven video. Who knows? She is very slow on her publications so I feel like I could, I could possibly do it. Ruby Dixon is different to where she <laughs> writes like five books a year. So um, I definitely want to read more of Grace Draven this year, hopefully all of her books. And the last author that I want to read all of the backlist of is Tessa Dare. I want to read all of her books because I love her books so much. Historical romance author and um, I'm currently in the middle of the second book in this Middle Cove series and I've read two whole entire series by her. So this is the last series that I have to read by her or there's another one as well. I don't remember. I still, I just, I want to read all of her books because I love her. <laughs> My next goal is to write a Goodreads review for every single book that I read this year. And so far through this year for the books that I have read, I have completed that. Um, I have found myself wanting to write a review for a book way more when I'm on my laptop than on my phone. Now I will never say that I completed or finished a book on my phone because I don't know why, but whenever I say that I finished a book on my phone on Goodreads, I never want to write a review. It's totally different when I'm on my laptop. I have the keys in front of me. I can type to my heart's delight and like type really fast and get it done and out there. And when it's on my phone, I just, I don't feel the motivation to write a review. So if you are struggling with writing reviews on Goodreads, I totally recommend doing it on your laptop instead. Every single morning I open up my laptop and Goodreads is there. I normally, I kind of like finish a book a day at this point and so every day, if I finished a book the night before, I like to sit on it a little bit and then I'll write my review for it the next day. I have been enjoying that so much and it's really been helping me with remembering books, which is great. Okay, next I have pick a book from my TBR jar once a month and vlog it. So if you didn't know, I had this idea at the end of 2020, probably like October-ish, um, where I would pick a book from this TBR jar every month do a clip of it on my Instagram and then do a personal dedicated reading vlog for that book. That only happened for one book. I did it for The Last Viking by Sandra Hill. I picked out my November and my December book and I just never got to them and I have no idea why. It just, it didn't happen and so I'm making it a goal for myself to do that this year. I ended up not getting to it in January because I didn't make my goals list for the year until a couple days ago and we're already way into January. So I'm giving myself a free pass for January. Um, but I plan on actually now picking from my TBR jar in my TBR videos because another goal of mine this year is to make a TBR for each month. I'm a huge mood reader, but I kind of like having the parameters right now. I'm in, I'm in the mood to have TBRs or like at least write down all the books that are on my radar for the month. I will be picking a book from this jar every month and doing a dedicated reading vlog for that book because I love dedicated reading vlogs and like I feel like people like dedicated reading vlogs more than dedicated book reviews. Let me know which ones you like better, dedicated book reviews or dedicated reading vlogs. I'd love your opinion. A personal goal of mine when it comes to YouTube is to hopefully reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. Um, I'm currently at 3,000 300 or something I have no idea but I am I'm hoping that maybe I'll get to 5k I mean like I feel like that's kind of a big stretch for me because I this this is gonna be my fourth year on booktube coming up in the next couple months it will be my fourth year on booktube and I'm only at 3,000 compared to other people which is honestly amazing though and I am so grateful and I feel like last year really helped me in growing and I really found what kind of content I love to make this like in 2020 I found the content that I love making and my little niche here and so I've really loved like the booktube side of 2020 at least 2020 sucked but 2020 booktube was great for me and so hopefully I can reach 5k I don't know if I can um but I'm setting that goal for myself 
and hopefully I will reach it. My next goal is to get a consistent bookstagram schedule, which has not happened in January. I'm giving myself a free pass because I didn't have this goal until a couple days ago. <laughs> um, but I've been very scattered on Instagram um, where I'll post consistently for a month and then fly off the radar and not post again for two months or a week and then not post for three weeks. It's it's a thing. It just, it, I, I need to take more pictures of books and I forgot how much fun I have doing that. My mom is a photographer and so I really learned some things from her. I just, I need to dedicate more time to actually taking pictures of books. It just, it, I just need to do it. I make so many excuses for myself and I just, I need to do it. <laughs> and my last goal that I have for myself is to participate in at least one readathon a month. Hopefully there is a readathon I'm interested in. If there's not a readathon I'm interested in, I'm not gonna push myself to be in a readathon I am interested in. Literally February though, I'm, in two, I'm doing two um, and they're both month long. And then the one that adds on to that is do at least one buddy read a month. I have loved the friendships that I've made in 2020. Like that's where I feel like I have made most of my booktube friends. I have so many great booktube friends that have been my friends the whole entire journey that I've been on in booktube and I love them so much and they're very near and dear to me. And I I love my friends that I made in 2020 as well. I just, I love the love here. Like it's just, it's so amazing. I really want to dedicate time to like spending more quality time with friends, even though you can't really do that when you're not personally with them, like face to face. But like, I want to like have that dedicated time to them to like discuss a certain book. Like I love gushing over certain books with people. Like I love that. And so I really want to like do at least one buddy read a month. In January, I ended up doing two. In February, I'm also doing two. If you want to buddy read with me in February with a book that I'm already planning on reading in my February TBR, let me know. My DMs are always open on Instagram. So if you ever want to buddy read a book that you're interested in that are on any of my TBRs or you feel like I would like, please reach out to me. I want to talk to people. Again, I don't have any friends like here. So I need more internet friends to compensate for the fact I don't have any physical friends here. So yes, all the readathons and all the body reads, I definitely want to do those. Those are all of my goals when it comes to book related goals for 2021. Please let me know down below if any of these goals are your goals as well. I'd love to know. And again, if you want to everybody read a book with me or anything like that, please let me know. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.